Welcome to LinuxHelp.com. In this session, you are going to see about how to install and use Docker Compose on Ubuntu. Docker container wraps a piece of software in a complete file system that contains everything needed to run code, runtime, system tools, system libraries, anything that can be installed on a server. For installing Docker on Ubuntu section 0.04, for that you need to download and install the installation script. For that command, duplicate hyphen q o hyphen and the following link sh and press enter The Docker has been get successfully installed in my Ubuntu section point zero four machine by using the installation script. Now add your user to the Docker group by using the following command. For that command, sudo user mod hyphen a g docker dollar who am I? Now press enter. Now the user has been get added to the Docker group. Now for installing the Docker Composer, for that first you need to install the Python pipe. For that command apt and get install python hyphen pipe and press enter. The Python package has been get successfully installed in my Ubuntu section point zero four machine. Now for installing the Docker Compose for that command PAP install Docker hyphen compose and press enter. This command is used to install the Docker Compose by using the pipe command. Now the Docker Composer has been get installed successfully. Now run a container with Docker Composer. For that you need to create a directory. For that command mkdir. And the name of the directory hello world. And press enter. Now the directory has been get created. Now move inside the directory. For that command cd hello world. And press enter. Now create a OAML file by using your text editor for that command nano and the name of the file docker compose dot OAML and press enter. Now paste the following code inside the file. After pasting the following code, now save the file. The code inside the file is used to download the image from the official docker hub repository. For that command docker hyphen compose space up and press enter. Now the process has been get completed. Now for starting the hello world for that command docker hyphen compose space up space hyphen d and press enter. Here you can able to see it has started the hello world to show you a group of docker containers both stopped and currently running for that command docker 
hyphen compose space ps and press enter here you can able to see the list of both stopped and currently running docker containers to stop the running docker compose container for that command docker hyphen compose space stop and press enter now the docker container has been get stopped if you would like to start from the scratch for that you can use the remove command to fully delete all the containers that have been make up by using the container group for that command docker hyphen compose space rm and press enter here you can able to see it will be throwing some error because we have to present inside the configuration file directory otherwise it will be showing you the error now i'm going to move inside the directory now i'm going to execute the remove command docker hyphen compose space rm and press enter now give way to continue and press enter it has been get removed successfully now for accessing the docker container file system for that you need to create a new directory and change inside the directory for that command mkdir nginx and you need to move inside the directory so cd dollar underscore and press enter now the directory has been get created and i have moved inside the directory now create the docker composer.oml file in your new directory for that command nano docker hyphen compose dot oml and press enter and, and paste the following code inside the file after pasting the following code now save the file now we need to start the nginx container as a background process for that command docker hyphen compose space up space hyphen d and press enter Now it has started the nginx container as the backend process. Now we need the container id for the container process for that command docker ps and press enter and here you can able to see the container id. Now we want to make a change to the file system inside this container for that I am going to use docker exe to start a shell inside the container for that command docker exec hyphen it and the id space slash bin slash bash and press enter and here you can able to see it has been get successfully started with the shell inside the docker container in this session i have seen about how to install and use docker container on ubuntu section 0.04 thank you for watching